Hi, and welcome to Frank Shed. Our special guest today is a native of Cork, and he's a highly respected and talented native of Cork who, um, well, if, if you like experimental and, and highly infectious uh, alternative folk music, then you will very much appreciate Mr. Bill Coleman. Hey, folks. Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Good to meet you, man. L- likewise, man. Good to be here. Pleasure to have you Thanks aboard. Thanks for having me. Yeah. I, I, I admire your stuff, so... It's 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 a real pleasure to have you on. So uh, you were a multi instrumentalist, and but you're like you tour as a one man band. So yeah. it must be nice to have that sort of independence. Where yeah. You don't uh, have well, after it. years of you know dealing with drummers and <laughs> bass players and all that kind of no, sorry, all like, <laughs> yeah. Well, look, to, to be fair, like it was that whole thing of um, like you know I had a band together for um, when I was recording my last record, You Can't Buy Back Your Life. And love the guys to bits, mm. but like one of them lives in Seattle now, so he's a bit long, he's uh, a bit far away to be playing bass with me. And uh, with drummer Keith, it's that whole thing of you know, you get to a point where you know, you've had like because the guys were rehearsing for you know, they wouldn't take any money off me and all this kind of sort of yeah. crack, you know, and like I paid them for gigs and all that kind of sort of crack, but like you know, that was when I had the day job as well as kind of doing this inside yeah. and all that kind of sort of crack. So when things change, um, you know, and you're fucking skint. Am I, am I allowed to curse? Yeah. Oh, of course, can. Yeah, yeah. Fucking brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What was I going to say? Um, yeah, like when you when you just don't don't have the cash, you don't have the cash and all that kind of sort of stuff. And like while the guys were perfectly happy to just play for the crack, you know, yeah. you can't be doing that forever and expect to remain friends. I think. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? And equally as well, it's this whole thing of um, when you record a record with like you know a, a rhythm section basically, and then. You kind of you end up on the road and it's you and a laptop and it's just going to sound different, yeah. you know. Um, so I guess by necessity, it it all changed to a more sort of one person thing. So then it's that means it's least, it's yeah. a little bit more. Yeah, it's very practical. It's mm. like it's more R and B now. There's more synths in it. Bit and pieces. It's a lot more fun and it's a lot more. Um, it's a lot more challenging because you you end up going down alleys where uh, normally you'd get the drummer. To, oh, do that. But mm. you can't do that anymore. So, you, all right, I have to write my way out. What am I going to do now? You know, and um, so you have to think a bit harder. Everything's on your own terms, though. Like, say, yeah. say if, if you had to hire musicians, you, you have to guess if they're on your wavelength or not. So, you know, that that's that's going to be a bit of a hurdle. Yeah, or I get it's that whole thing of this is what you play, don't play anything else, and then they yeah. ignore you to a certain extent, which is <laughs> which is fair enough, like you know, because you got to respect those people. But, um, but yeah, there is it does probably play a little bit into the fact that I am a bit of a control freak and all that kind of sort of stuff. So that, you know, everything now is under my control. If there's a fuck up, it's my fault, you know, um, and I'm perfectly happy with that. That's important that, for that's, your peace of mind. Yeah. yeah, well, exactly. It's just more straightforward. It just less sort of, I wouldn't say sleepless nights, but, you know, it's just less kind of agonising over that kind of sort okay, of stuff. Okay. Um, so, well, you've, you've got so many varied songs that it's going to seem like a bit of a lottery here, but what are you going to play for us first? <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a song called Shut Up first. So I used to, back when I was working, I worked with this lady who never shut up. There's always one. There's always one. Yeah. So, so. all right. Well, um, behold, shut up. <laughs> Before she thinks, she runs before she walks. She thinks we're made to talk. We think she's full of shit. She senses this and stops, but then she starts again to talk. She cannot bring herself to shut up. an impression She fails because she causes obsession She'd make you want to go to confession Pull your own teeth out of simple frustration Not <laughs>
Well, that was shut up. And uh, so your your second song is past, future, and past, present. Past, future, and present. Uh, do you want to give us a little insight into what that's about? Well, if I was to do that now, Mel, I'd have to actually know what it was about, um, <laughs> which isn't necessarily the case. I mean, I guess it's. Um, do you know what? I actually haven't got a fucking clue. I'm going to have to figure that out and come back to you. Listen to the lyrics and figure it out yourself. Answers on a postcard to... Past, future (laughs) and present. Oh, 
your secrets, love. Hey! <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, oh, and uh, the very last song you're going to play is yeah. called. Yeah, uh, it's called <laughs> "Am I Still Your Number One." It um, let's see. They used. Do you remember Fade Street? Did you ever watch any of Fade Street? Uh it didn't because it was, uh, no, it I wasn't <laughs> kind of bagged. <laughs> it's, uh, it's not my cup of tea. I am. Um, I never watched any of it either. I have to confess. But they used a uh, used a song. This song, "Am I Still yeah. Your Number One." They used it on the ad, so I was you know, I was oh. convinced I was going to be able to retire to the south of France on the proceeds. So I got the Imro check in, and it was like fifty euro and two cent. Or something like that. So I'm still working on that. You definitely but, um, over overestimated. That yeah, one, I think. Just, just. What's your look? Um, feast your eyes and ears on this. Somebody tried to make me take a look into the box. The box was not the subject. The box was neither bad nor good. But what it contained was a bomb of sorts. Situation changed too fast to keep a handle on it. Accusations flying like confetti at a wedding. Babe, am I still your number one? Here's to the new year. It should be better than the last. Temperature changes while you wonder at the reason Something escapes and it all rolls out of control Like a drunk on a free bar Still I'm standing here Trying to remember, trying to recall How the demons surface in her mind Babe, am I still your number one? Better than the last. Here's to the new year. It should be better than the last. But I'm bum 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 Now 
won't get this road. I won't get this road. I won't get this road. An architect walks up to the gates of heaven, right? Up to St. Peter, it's like, hi, it's St. Peter, I'm an architect, uh, and I've come to get into heaven. So Peter goes, Grant, straight in you go, up, upstairs, straight upstairs, straight in, Grant, hold on, happy days, architect, straight in. Five minutes later, a farmer arrives in, how are you saying, Peter, I'm a farmer, I've just arrived to come into heaven. So St. Peter goes, Grant, no water, upstairs there, straight on, straight on, straight on, straight through, Grant. Anyway, third guy comes up, how are you saying, Peter, I'm a musician, come to get into heaven. So right, Grant, go down there, around the corner, through the kitchen, Take the second right, up the stairs, then there's a lift, right? You go up to the third floor, and so on, and so on, and so on. You made us look stupid! Absolute <laughs> <laughs> pleasure. I wish you every success. Sweet. And um, thanks again for coming to Frank Shed, and we'll see you next time. Yay!